The Trim Entities tool is a command used to trim or extend sketch entities. There are several ways to trim or extend geometry in SOLIDWORKS using the Trim Entities tool. This lesson will teach you a variety of ways of using the Trim tool. To start the Trim Entities tool, you can do this a few ways. In the Command Manager in the Sketch tab, we can click on Trim Entities. You could also go to the Tools in the menu, down to Sketch Tools, and then either Trim or Extend. You can right click in the graphics window in a blank area and go to Sketch Tools and then Trim Entities. Or finally, you can hit S on the keyboard, S for shortcut, and go to the Trim Entities tool. With the command activated on the left hand side, you'll see an options menu and there'll be multiple options on how to use the Trim or Command Entities tool. Also, as you click on each one, you'll notice a information dialog box come up, which will give you additional information on how you can use the tool. The first one we're going to look at is the Trim to Closest, and Trim to Closest will just trim a an entity to its closest point. So using this, we could trim away the center here. We could trim this middle section, we could trim one here. So it's always just trimming to the closest point or the two closest points. And the next two are similar. They are trim away outside and trim away inside. These will work by picking a boundary area, either arcs or lines, and then picking the entity that you want to trim in between or outside that boundary. So if we want to trim away this inside or the outside edges, we can use these two points as our boundary. And the third click will be whether we want the outside or the inside taken away. With trim away outside selected, we can simply have that trim back to the boundary. But if we switch this to trim away inside, and we still have our points highlighted, so we can trim away the inside here. If I was to stop the command by pushing escape and going back and using that command, I would then have to pick another boundary again, for example. So trim to corner will, or trim corner will just bring two lines together to make a an intersection or a corner point. We can, for example, pick these two. I don't really like this command. It seems to be um, causing errors, so I tend not to use that. And the final one is power trim. Power trim is the most flexible trim tool you can use. With power trim, you can trim entities and extend entities and a much easier process. All you need to do is there's a few ways you can do this. So the first is you can simply hold down your mouse and this little line appears and you can just drag over the points you want to trim away. If I went too far, I can actually go backwards over this little red square and that will undo the last trim I did. So I could go back over this one and back over that one. You can quickly trim points this way and if you do make a mistake, just go back. You can also trim lines by simply dragging them using the power trim. So I can pick any point and drag it back and where I release is where it's going to trim to. I can also extend it by just clicking on the line and bringing it to a point. Or I can extend by with the power trim by clicking on the line and then clicking on the line I want it to extend to. So that's one way of doing it. Or clicking on the line and then clicking on the line that I want it to trim to. But in general, the power trim is very powerful when you want to trim to intersections like this. So it's a very fast tool for trimming in that sense. A final couple of points with the trim tool is in the options, there's actually a couple of checkboxes to give you some more options when trimming. The first one is keep trimmed entities as construction geometry. This means that when it's ticked, as you go along and trim things, that instead of removing the line that's trimmed, it will actually just create a center line instead. So for example, using the power trim, if I drag across here, and let go. The lines have been trimmed, but they're now center lines. Another option is ignore trimming of construction geometry. So this means that as you use the power trim tool, it's not going to trim away any center lines, but it will trim back regular lines. This is really helpful when you have a lot of construction geometry and you don't want to be moving around and trying to trim in between the construction geometry. You can just tick this option and it will ignore them and you can go through using the power trim to trim back everything you need to. That completes this lesson on trimming. Trimming and extending is a very powerful tool when it comes to sketching. You'll use it a lot in between actually creating your 2D geometry and then trimming it back to the shape that you want, then going on to apply sketch relations and dimensions. So all these tools kind of work 
together to create really defined 2D profiles. And sketch trimming and sketch extending is a part of that process.